I don't even know what's happening right now. This month is about to be revolutionary for AI. We've got insane models dropping back to back. Meta AI rolling out with Llama 4, OpenAI coming out with O3 and O4 Mini, DeepSeek R2 expected to launch mid to late April, a new Quen series, and Google, which is cooking up something either with Veo or with a new coding model. But here's the real twist. A new model called Night Whisperer suddenly appeared on LM Arena and my entire X feed was lit up. People are saying it's tied to Google and might outperform Gemini 2.5 Pro and Claude 3.7 Sonnet with a couple of coding tasks that people were testing it upon. There's no official benchmark yet, no official announcement, but early comparisons are actually wild and it's something that we're going to be taking a look at today. But then we have another model on top of this called Quasar Alpha. This is a stealth release from Open Router. And this is an Open Router's model, but they just launched it on their model provider list. And it's essentially this mysterious large language model with a 1 million token context window. But before we get started into the video, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Mammoth.ai. Mammoth is the ultimate gateway to the world's leading large language models where you can access Claude, GPT-4 Omni, Llama, Gemini, Mistral, and even the GPT-01 preview all at your fingertip. You can also access image models like Midjourney, Flux, as well as Stable Diffusion all in one single platform. If you need stunning visuals, Mammoth gives you top tier image generators like Flux Pro, you have Midjourney, Dolly E, and even Stable Diffusion, where creativity is powered by AI all in one platform. Plus, you can stay up to date with AI powered web searches through Open Perplex, where it delivers the latest information across the web and it provides you multiple different types of sources. In this case, I asked for the current status of the Tesla stock and it was able to provide me the closing price and analysis of it with fundamental analysis and technical indicators. On top of all this, you have so much more where you have one click prompting, you have project assistant, image and file upload, multi devices, chat history, and even multilingual models all in one place. All this, the best LMs, image generators, live web search, and so much more, all for just $10 a month. You heard that right, just $10 a month. This is the capability of mammoth.ai and I truly recommend that you take a look at it with the link in the description below. But with that thought, let's get right back into the video. This is something that supposedly has the speeds that is four times faster than Claude 3.7 Sonnet and already outperforming it on several tasks. Nobody even knows which lab has created these models, but my bet is Google. They've got a habit for dropping experimental models under random names and a 1 million context window definitely fits their profile perfectly. This is something that we're going to be taking a look at. We're going to be comparing these models and showcasing a couple of benchmark tests to see if these models are capable with the coding workflows. Let's first take a look at the Quasar Alpha model. This is something that nearly matches the performance of O3 Mini and DeepSeek R1 on Python and Bash tests, but responds significantly faster. Something that becomes immediately obvious during the real use cases of it. And the great thing is guys, you can actually take a look at this through Open Router. You can access this with a free API and you can start using it within uh, whatever provider that uses Open Router. So you can use this with Rue Code or Rue Klein or with Klein itself, as well as other app generation tools like Bolt. Now the benchmarks show that it outperforms Cloud 3.7 Sonnet on several key metrics while also holding its ground against top tier models like Quen as well as DeepSeek R1. But what truly sets this model apart is its combination of a 1 million context window, as well as being four times faster with its response speed. This is definitely making it exceptional at both reasoning and code generation. Even more surprisingly, it is something that is completely free. So this is something that I definitely recommend that you try out. Just take a look at it live within cursor. You can see how rapidly it's able to generate things for you. And this is why I said this is one of the fastest models that is available right now. And you can actually start generating anything with it today. 
Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Now, I know I said it's from Google, but some are also saying that this could be from OpenAI due to its tool call ID format as well as the JSON output. It resembles more of OpenAI's more than Google's or Quen's or even Mistral's. And you can actually take a look at this with a couple of these images. This is how Quasar Alpha's uh, ID format looks like. And then we have uh, OpenAI's, which is really similar. Then we can compare it to Google's, which is more structured in textual format. And then lastly, we have Mistral's, which is a smaller ID. In this case, it passed the test with the vibrant bouncing ball prompt. It was able to generate this with functional motions and it did it really rapidly. Now, next up, we have the second model that is more mysterious and that is the Night Whisper. So yesterday or a couple of days ago, we had a random new model pop up on Ella Marina and a lot of people started freaking out. They're like, oh my God, this is the best model ever. And I, I can't blame them because a lot of the tests that people were running were able to outperform many of the models that we see like Gemini 2.5 Pro as well as the Claude Sonnet 3.7. Now here's just one comparison with the Gemini 2.5. In this case someone had requested it to build a full on Pokemon game simulator with team selection. Right now you're seeing the Gemini 2.5 and you can see it is responsive, it definitely looks pretty decent and it was something that was built within HTML and JavaScript. Now we have the Night Whisperer's output. You can see that it was given the same prompt and it actually crushed it. There's a cleaner architecture, smarter turn logic, and there's better modular code. It was able to output a decent UI. It's not something amazing, but it's still pretty decent, better than what we saw previously. And there's animations that make it more dynamic. So this is just one simple test that people ran in terms of comparing different models with the Night Whisper. And they saw that the Night Whisper had way better outputs in terms of the response that they got as well as the generation. Now this is the same game that was generated, but with Night Whisper. And in this case, he took the initial prompt and followed it up with a couple of progression steps. And in this case, he was able to develop a lot of cool things that made this even better with more creativity and better UX designing. Here is another example where Night Whisper is up against O3 Mini to create a breathtaking pixel art simulation. And in this case, on the left side, you have Night Whisper, which delivered a full interactive canvas and it is showcasing the pixel art. You can also see that it was able to uh, use this drag and drop tool to help you place down different pixels and on the right hand side you have a simulation of the pixel art but it is just stagnant and it doesn't really have any sort of creativity in terms of the generation. Here the Night Whisper model was capable of building a working prototype of the X platform and you can see it is really similar to how X actually looks and it is something that I noticed with this model in terms of generating really functional and beautiful looking UIs. Now unfortunately it is not available within the Ella Marina. They have taken it out. But something cool that this user Light has found out is that there is a new Gemini model VO internal that was actually added. Now, this is something a bot that I'm going to be adding to my private Discord, which is why you should definitely join. So this way you can stay up to date on what is happening in terms of new models. But this is why I stated that this new Night Whisper model could be a Gemini VO model, but who knows? This, there's so many possibilities and we truly don't know what's going to be actually releasing this month. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically a gist of today's video on these two hidden new models. It's definitely going to be an exciting month so definitely stay tuned and make sure you guys follow me because I'm going to be posting a lot of videos on all of these new models whenever they drop. And what I recommend is follow me on Twitter because this is where I'm going to be posting about all these things first. Make sure you also subscribe to the second channel. It, this is where I'm going to be posting a lot more on model testing as well as hidden tools that I can't really post on the main channel. Also follow me on the newsletter 
join the discord and lastly make sure you uh, subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from but with that thought guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value i'll leave all the links in the description below but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas